Hello Space Engineers, we uh, are going to today test our uh, SAM installation. So I'm going to run through uh, a couple of things. We've been seeing some different posts online uh, in the uh, workshop, the STEAM workshop, and also on the SAM uh, Discord and also on my Discord channel. Uh, people are talking about different SAM things and so I thought, well, let's put this together and show you guys how to make SAM run because it's one of the best programs out there I think about uh, an automated controller uh, to run the ships and fly things so uh, let's get into this right away I've got a base here that's really basic base it's got several batteries it's a like a refueling station so we've got a lot of batteries typically I would have out there uh, several solar panels or wind turbines if you're on a planet that's got wind don't put them on the moon because they, they won't work but uh, the um, come out here to the atmosphere anywhere there's an atmosphere you want to run those wind turbines because they, they're one of the better power sources you can get if you can run them so otherwise put up a nice solar array and run them with that and we'll talk about that in other videos but I've got several batteries I've gone ahead and thrown in a, a nuclear reactor just to get these batteries charged some of them are already charging up and I've rearranged my batteries some so that's why it's kind of in different power levels if you're if you're really paying attention to that stuff but anyway there's just a little bit of nuclear fuel in here uh, uranium we we picked some up from the uh, the pirate ships that come around once in a while and they try to uh, attack us and we have several Gatling guns and things like that over here on the main base so where we are we're on the moon we're in our server uh, this is a hardcore server so flying is a little bit uh, slower and uh, everything's a little bit more difficult here but that's okay it's good enough we can show everything it's actually real good for many things so uh, the, the base over here uh, we're, what we're going to do is test had a lot of people saying oh with sam you can't refuel and you can't do this you can't do that okay well that's we're going to check that out so um there's lots of batteries here. You can see I've got solar panel arrays over there, and those are run by Izzy Solar Panel Array, and uh, so it, it turns as the sun moves. We've got lots of battery here. There's uh, also quite a large base underneath the ground, and so uh, it's got batteries in it and storage of all kinds, and you know so we've got double backup in case there's anything here. But we use this as a as a main base. Uh, on the moon so we want to uh, have everything in, in line and ready and we've got big ships that are going to be coming here to fuel so we've been uh, mining ice and everything there's a little ice miner over there it runs and picks up ice anytime we need it and it's been filling up these hydrogen tanks so there's three that we can see here that are already fully full and one of our tasks is going to be to just make sure that we can fuel this little station over here. It's just for the test, just because I don't really need this little station, but I wanted to show you how to set one up. A small station, just a starter station, or maybe a little refueling station like this will be. This tank is totally empty. We have, we've just been built. There's no uh, hydrogen, and then I put in a little oxygen tank. There's no oxygen, so you can see that that's there. Uh, basically I'm just charging batteries right now and then all we really need is an antenna and a programming block that shows uh, that it's got SAM in it so we're going to run through here real quickly there's only one uh, well there's two little uh, things that you got to do in here uh, for the for the uh, base so you you go, come in and you load SAM and in case you don't know how to do that it's real simple you just build a programming block you go to the screen you press K like I've just done you come into it and you hit edit and then you browse the scripts and you search here for Sam and um, there we go Sam's autopilot and this is the one that I use all the time is from the original guy that made this it's from magistrator there is a copy out there so it's a B mod whatever they call it and they've done some stuff and it's an old version of sam that then they took and made their version out of and if that works for you great but i use the original because i think that that's the best version 
Uh, it has certainly worked well for me, and I prefer to work with the originals when I can. I've even made a mod to this as well because it was a little bug, and uh, I made the mod. I've given it back to the original uh, author, and, and one day he may put it into his version, but until that time, we, you can use mine if you want it. Uh, you can come to my Discord channel and, and you can get it from there. So, um, but I, I'm going to show you just the one that's directly on the workshop. I didn't publish mine to the workshop because I, I respect the guys doing. I mean, anyway, that's the way that works for me. Um, but you come in here and you pick this up and you come in to this and I don't change anything in here. I, I don't change, not a thing. You can change the tag and you can follow the instructions from the workshop and you can get that, certainly do whatever you want to. But I don't change anything and I do the check code and compilation successful and then I come back over here and click OK and we're done with that. We don't have any more to do in that edit. But on the programming block, now we're, we're at a base, so what we want to do is come in here to the custom data and type in sam.advertise. And you can do that here or you can do that in the name. Personally, I like doing it in the custom data better. But I do also put it in the name, and the reason I do that is so I can see it when I'm scrolling through my list. It makes it easier to know what it is that's running on that one. So I put that in the name on here. Now, we've also got our antenna that's in here, and we just need to put SAM dot in that antenna. And then the only other thing that we need to do here is make sure we go to info and give it a name that we'll recognize because uh, space engineers will automatically put something in there like, you know, small grid or large grid, you know, number something. It's just not interesting. And you need something that you can find that you know it's there. So I put called it SAM test based, and so I've got that, and we're we're set up and ready to go. This is now a SAM base. It needs a little power, it needs a little fuel, maybe if that's what you want. But uh, certainly the only thing you got to set up. Oh, sorry, we got to do one more thing. We have to uh, we have to have a connector up here so we can put a ship, and that connector also needs a name. And let me just go back in here real quick because there is that little thing, and. We want that connector here, there you go, and in that connector you want to come in and give it a SAM name, and I'm calling it STBC, uh, it's SAM Test Base Connector. So it makes it short to where I, when I'm looking in the ship, it's easy to see. Uh, I usually put SAM dot and SAM name. Uh, I think we don't have to have but one line, but I, you know, I just usually put that there, never have any problem with it, so that's been my style of doing it, that's what I'm going to do. Now I built a ship here that's uh, going to be used in several tests and so I built it with ion uh, engines as well as hydrogen engines. As I showed you, uh, there the, there's no hydrogen in this base and there's also no hydrogen in this ship. So we're, we're testing it as a battery operated ship right now. Uh, you can see I've got an oxygen tank here and I've got uh, three hydrogen tanks. Uh, also in that same configuration, there's one there, and there's one sticking out that direction, one sticking out that direction to feed those hydrogen engines. So it's not a pretty ship, but um, it's usable, and we, that's what we want to see is if we fill up with hydrogen and oxygen correctly, and uh, right now we're not running on any of that. We're just going to fill up with batteries. That's going to be our first test. So um, in this ship, we're... As you can see, it's pretty basic. It's just got engine pointing in all directions. It's got uh, an antenna. It's got a couple of, of uh, gyroscopes there. And let's see, what else have we got? Anything really special? Uh, oh yeah, well, for Sam, there's several things that are kind of special. Uh, we'll come on around over here. And you see I've built out the blocks to come up to the same place as this front, very front engine, because you need a camera on the front, and it's uh, you really need to pay attention to that. They need to be clear. They need to be able to see everything. You don't want to sit and say, oh, yeah, front, well, that's kind of back over here. That's, that's front. No, it's not, because you you get it blocked by the engines. You, you have to have a clear view of those and just know it and build out those little blocks, or you can use some posts sometimes and it looks a little nicer or 
depending on how you build your ship out in total, then you just want to get it in a clear view and have it as the very front item. Now you also need one on the bottom, so guess what? I've got a couple of blocks here that go down equal with the connector and there's a camera on the bottom. And then there needs to be a camera on the top. So you only need three cameras. Now you can run more than that if you want to. I've run drones that some of the best flying drones uh, that I've got that Sam controls the best is uh, it's got eight cameras on it. So like one in just all kinds of different directions. And I don't remember how we got eight on there, but anyway, it, is, uh, it works real well. So we've got the remote control. And another thing about these, uh, these drones or these ships, a lot of people say, well, they, they don't, they crash into stuff. They fly around and do too much. And they're, well, it's because your ship design is poor. It's not Sam that's having the problem. It's your ship design. And I'm going to show you a, a problem that I have with this one. And I'll show you how to fix it here in just a moment. Now I've also got a little nuclear reactor there to kind of get those batteries charged up. But as you can see right now, it's turned off and the batteries are starting to, to go down just a little bit, which is what we want to do because one of our tests, we want to show how that's going to get um, uh, charged up here in just a little bit. But, but uh, one of the things about flying, the ships will fly so much better, so, so, so much better if you put, I like to put uh, two gyros on it, one on each side or one in the front and one in the back. I always tend to balance them that way. Uh, I don't know that it matters if you put like one on the left side and one in the front, but I kind of like to have a balanced look of the, the stuff. And so I put one on each side. Uh, I've not noticed any better flying if you've got three or four, but if you've got a really, really, really big ship, then you need more gyros. So uh, that's what makes them fly real stable. And another big key important factor I've found is to get this remote control block to be as square over your center of gravity. Now, this is a ship that you can see I've just built as a, as a square block and everything just goes out in each direction. There's slightly different weight, perhaps because of the nuclear reactor. We've got a couple of programmable blocks here and an antenna. And this is not a ship design class, but um, I've, I've found that if you put that remote control right over the connector and kind of build just directly out and back, things fly great. And this one does. It flies really well. I've used the industrial cockpit here. Uh, I like that one a lot. It's got the LCDs up on the top and you can see where you're flying and everything. So I like it a lot. Use it for many ships. Uh, I've also got the camera on the top. So that was the, the last thing we wanted to talk about. That's our third camera. And now let's go inside and we'll take a quick look at the uh, it, it's settings. So we've got um, all the, the H2 thrusters and the ion thrusters. I've put them in different groups so I can turn them off. So I know I'm running a ship that's flying with batteries or with H2. I've got uh, the batteries that I can turn off directly. And then uh, we've got the antenna on here. Now as a, a ship antenna, you don't really have to have anything in here, but I tend to put the SAM in it. You wind up you're putting SAM everywhere, so it's kind of like, you know, just make sure you've got everything labeled. It's always a real good idea. And uh, then we're going to be testing the battery charging. So I'm going to put in here that it says SAM empty is 10% and full is 90. So we're going to be testing to if we fill up and it waits for us to fill up and, and then it goes. That's one of the things people are saying. Oh, it doesn't wait to charge. So, okay, that's what we're we're after here. And then this is uh, this is going to be in a series of, of videos because each one of them is going to take a long long time. So this first one is mostly about setting up Sam, and then we're going to talk about each one of our tests in individual videos. So watch for those. Be sure that you check them out. Subscribe. You'll get to know when everything comes. Uh, if you hit that bell. Uh, it will tell you and you'll get a little notification. We've got new videos. So here we go. Um, the All the batteries have this on here, the SAM cameras. And notice that I, I have named everything in here. And I didn't type this in. There's another script to do that. It's called Izzy's Rename Script. Or there's various ones out there. And I use the Izzy one. Uh, it's just the one I started using. 
there's others that actually do some other functions that are kind of neat. So any of them that you use. But I highly recommend that you name your ship. Uh, you just build it, detach it, start to fly. First thing you do, go into a programming block and get a renamer and make those names come in. Because then you know when you dock this, as you can see here, there's other colors. That's great, but that's the base. And I need to rename that one because it's going to be the base. But if I dock if I dock 10 ships around here and they all say antenna, 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 you have no idea what's anything. So you always want to name your ships. Always, always, always. In the custom data, again, all you need to do is just put the SAM. You can put them in the name if you want to. I prefer custom data, but you just have to make sure that each one of them are. And I mean, we can run through here and see that. But they all are, uh, they are named correctly. And we've got SAM in them. Now the, the other thing you need is the connector. And uh, it needs to say SAM in there as well. You don't have to put a special name on this one because this is the ship you're flying. But it, we need to know which connector you're going to use as the SAM connector. So that's what you got with that. Uh, now we've got all the hydrogen thrusters. As I said, we've got those. And the ion thrusters are in the... Um, uh, the list, we've got the industrial cockpit, and as you can see here, uh, I've put SAM panel 0, panel 2 is the log. You can do it either way. You can put it in the name or you can put it in custom data. I don't have a standard for the cockpit, but it's just easier if you, if, when you go and pick that up off of the, the SAM uh, information, the, the instructions, it's already written this way, and so I typically just copy and paste it here. If you put it into custom data, you have to take out the spaces and the brackets and you put periods in and so on and so forth. And It's just too much hassle, I felt like. I just copy and paste it and it makes it done. And that puts those in there. So we've got our, our antenna. We've got our connector. We've got our cameras. We've got our cockpit. We've got the batteries labeled. Now, if we had any cargo containers, we don't have any cargo containers here. But if we did... We want to put SAM on those too, and uh, uh, if, if we're going to load those and unload them and move cargo, they work similarly to what we're going to be doing with the uh, the hydrogen. So uh, I didn't put any cargo containers on here. I can, and if you if you think I need to, then let me know. Drop it in the comments. Just tell me, hey, I, I want to see that one because I, I, I'm having trouble with it or I don't understand it or whatever. Then let me know. I like Sam, I, and I'm, I'm happy to make another video. These are easy to do, and especially when it's something that you like to do. All right, well, that's the setup of all of this. And th we've got a base, and we've got a ship. And now I'm going to show real quick one of the biggest problems about this uh, that people get, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. And uh, first off, let's go in here and we look at Sam. You can see I've been doing some testing. I've got my navigation over here on the left hand side and in the center that gives me that log now I know probably that's not what you want to set up and I don't, I'm not a big fan of it but all we got to do there is change that in the cockpit where it says uh, panel 0 and panel 3 or whatever it was that's the default that I just copy and paste then you just switch them around you just change those numbers and it'll move to the different uh, different uh, panels up here you might want the log on the right hand side or left hand side and you want your controller in the in here it's really up to you or toss the log over on the side uh, whatever you can also build out little blocks in front and put lcds in front i do that sometimes on the ships so i can just be flying and watch what's going on i don't have to actually move around and to move like this you hold the alt button on your keyboard and wiggle your mouse uh, on the uh, controllers, you do it in a different way, but that's how I do it with the mouse. Okay, so I um, want to show you that little little trouble. So I'm going to disconnect here. Uh, oh, uh, before I do, i got one other thing I do need to show is how I set up the buttons. Now, I set up the buttons where uh, level one is my ship stuff that I use all the time. Uh, things that I want to reference back to my ship. As you can see, I've got my connector on number four. I've got my batteries in a group, and I can see that they're charged at 90% uh, on number seven. I've got my, my uh, hydrogen thrusters on number eight, and my 
uh, ion thrusters on number nine. So I can turn those on and off real easy. And then we, just because it's historical, we started setting up a long time ago, uh, uh, putting the controller of whatever's flying on the uh, number two. Well, that's what we've set up here. And so as you can see from the, the little screen just above, and that comes from a mod we have, you can easily read that, the build info mod. You, get that is pretty cool because you can see what those buttons are supposed to say and do. Otherwise, they're just little buttons on the bottom and you, you've got to remember what they are. I've used it so much I know what they are, but uh, you set them up like that and uh, you just hit the G button and then you go into your controller and that says SAM and then uh, I'll just put something on number five here and you can right click and just pull it down and then give it the command and you just put a run on there and uh, I don't know what I'll just type in you just to show you one is start I already have that but uh, we do that and then now on number five and number nine I've got start or uh, number eight I've got start and I always put those uh, number nine is to stop number eight is to start and then I've got seven and six and five they're kind of uh, for, for whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out because I don't really want to put anything in there. Um, I've got a previous select and uh, then next and screen. And what that allows me to do is come over here and screen changes this screen. So you get to go from it to the configuration screen to the navigation screen, the configuration screen to the navigation screen. The configuration screen gives you all your different bases and your different connectors. So when you what you've labeled with the antenna, I'm sorry, with the info, uh, when you go in there and you go to the info, you label that, and now you know uh, that's where that first one is. So we've got this base called SAM test base, and then the, the moon base is over there, the moon base, and then we've got uh, the moon outpost has not been renamed properly in the info, and it's still, still called small grid something, so that needs to be fixed. And then uh, the last one down there, we've got uh, another thing that'll be in one of my tests that I'll show in another video. And so I'm going to go ahead and take these off. I'm going to hit the select button and remove that one. And then I'm going to use the, the next button and go down here and, whoops, I went too far. So I'm going to take that one out and then I can roll around. That's one of the nice things about this too, is the list goes ahead and scrolls and jumps back to the top. So, okay, now I don't have any kind of configuration going on. And if I go back over to navigation, it says, up, oh, disabled, no docs selected. So that's what's going to happen when you first put SAM on here, is you're going to see that there's no docs selected. All right, so now we're going to go out, and I'm going to show you that little problem. So I'm flying this. There's no SAM. It's like there's no SAM whatsoever. I'm going to go into third-party view uh, by hitting the V, and I'm going to uh, disconnect from that and just fly out here a little bit. And what I'll what I do is just run out the battery just a little because it got charged while it was sitting there and, and we were at 90%, so Sam's gonna think I'm sorry, uh, pull. But I'm gonna also show you, well, that's, uh, that's real good. I just show you how to crash. Wow, did I? What did I do? Oh, I didn't turn the dampeners back on. That's horrible. Boom. Yeah, I'm just floating up in space. Well, that's an interesting crash. Here we were going so well, and I didn't pay attention that those dampeners were turned off. That's one of the challenges I get into as well uh, when I use SAM is because I forget that it turns them off when you park and you just have to fix it. So anyway, not much I can do here except go find the rest of the, the ship. Who knows where it is? I wasn't paying any attention. But we're a kilometer away from the base, so here we go. And I'll just have to go put in a... Hopefully it's still in one piece enough that all we got to do is put a cockpit back on there. <laughs> oh, it's fun times, huh? I enjoy this game. I really do. 
and uh, doing this testing and stuff is really interesting and fun and okay well there's where here's where we took off and so let's go back from here and go back the other way and see if we can if we can find our ship got an antenna on it. I didn't see it as we came here. It's got to be here. Oh, how disappointing. <laughs> In a fun way. flying off like crazy there so I'm just gonna turn around here and see if I can find my ship oh man oh there it is it's down at the bottom of that hole Yeah, it looks like it's in one piece. It's got plenty of battery and everything, so yeah, it looks like it just needs a cockpit again. Yeah, it's in one piece. Okay, so. I need the cockpit, and that's gonna then require it's interesting how that broke off at at that point and and took out that piece. That's really interesting. Programmable blocks are in place. Everything's in place. So I need to just get a a little pipe in here again and uh, what I want to do too is I'm going to go ahead and put this these conveyor junctions and then I can know when we get oxygen oops create a more tool so I can Very interesting. Why won't that let me place that? Oh, I bet there's some junk in there, like some scrap metal or bent or something. So let me check that real quick. It's okay. Yeah, that one, it, we fixed that one, I think, just a little bit. Oh no, this is a this is one of those oh yeah there's a piece of scrap metal. That's where it is. That's what the problem is. Okay, now we should be able to. Yeah. There is a, a possible problem that it's a battery issue, but all these are connected through through the rest of the grid, so that, that couldn't be it. Alright, so let's go back here. There we go. And I want to put one, two, three like that. Now I got to put. Oh, I got. I got to put my uh, remote control back on there. Well, this is going to be off just a little bit from where my my preferred location is, but that's okay to put it here. And I want to get, get make sure it's in the right direction. Okay, that that's right. Okay, and then I want to go back to the cockpit. 
and yeah, the industrial cockpit doesn't get oxygen from that side, so I'm just going to use a regular cockpit. That's what I wanted to test here, was I wanted to show when I get oxygen that we're going to have uh, oxygen in the cockpit. But actually, I want to make that one more higher because I don't. I want to get above that the flame of this this one. So let's get back over here and get the cockpit again. All right. So it doesn't really matter which direction, but I'd rather put the antenna at my back. So there we go. We're going to do that. And now I get to set it up again, so you, need, <laughs> you get to see how we've got to do SAM again. First off, I want to fly it out of this hole. Make sure that I can do that. Get it level, get it there. There we go, got it up out of there. Make sure that it flies okay. Dampener's on. There we go. Oh, well, I got the antenna to the side instead of at the back. Well, that's okay. Uh, forward and reverse. Yeah, it's, all, it's in good shape. All we lost was the cockpit. That was interesting. Okay, so now let's go and uh, <laughs> copy that thing from the uh, from Sam's instructions over here. When you scroll down, and it says cockpit, and then you can see that the uh, there's. I usually choose the second one, and that's the one I'm going to put on here. And that's how hard it is to set that up. Come back in here and you see that now that I've got Sam in the center and it, the instructions are set up better for this kind of a cockpit. And the other cockpit, it just changes the orientation. So, but there we go. And we've got, we found all those different ones. We come in here, we change this. Uh, we can't change the screen. I get to set that up again too. How nice. Okay, well, we take number this one here and we bring down a number four. And we do a switch lock on it. And then we uh, we want to have the thrusters here. I've got those in groups. So I've got the ion thrusters. We'll turn those on and off. I've got the uh, hydrogen thrusters. We'll turn those on and off. We've got the batteries. Now, the battery, the way I set that up, is the recharge on and off and that way you can see how much it is if you turn them on and off i don't want to turn the batteries on and off i don't i just want to see their their level and i can see it sometimes over here but it's not just it's not the same information and i like this information okay so that one's set up let's go to two now we get to set up sam again how nice I mean, this is not hard but it's just kind of <laughs> Well, here we go, and we want to run the stop here, and we want to run the start here. And we want to, we want to run previous over here. It's not called previous, you just type P-R-E-V is all. And then here you do a select. And then you do a next. And then we do a screen. And then we've got these three that are available again. Okay. And uh, we may or may not want to do something. I oftentimes put in number six. I put in the remove. And that's going to be shown in another video of why we do that. But I'll just go ahead and put it in here. And that's that's it. Okay, 
So now that's set up again. And now we can start to talk about our, uh, we hit this screen, we can see our configuration. And I'm going to show you that issue now, finally. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a little little flight. Uh, I'm, I'm only half of a kilometer away over there from the from the base, so I need to get a little further away. Because what happens is you start going really fast and you overshoot. And that's because of a ship design. It's not because of SAM. It's because of a ship design. And uh, I'll show you how to fix that here in just a second. So we'll get over here. We can get, yeah, we, we can fly 80, 90 kilometers or uh, meters per second. And so uh, that's good. This is a good place to, to be out and about for that. And you can fix it by a couple of different ways, but let's first talk about the problem. And we come in here and we want to go back to, that's exactly where we want to go back to, a SAM test STBC. So I want to select that, so I press 2. And then I go over here, press 4 to go back over to the navigation. And then I press 8 to get started. And off it goes. No remote control. Oh, no remote control. I forgot to put remote control because I had to build that again. So I have to put SAM in the remote control. But see how easy that was. It told me in the log what the problem was. So the, um, we, we found the remote control. So now that's good. And now I can hit 8, and we start to fly. OK, so now we're going to get up here in speed. It's going to kick up pretty fast. And as you can see, I've got all of these built exactly the same. There's three in each direction, basically. Uh, there's four on the lift, and then there's, uh, there's three engines in the other directions. So that's great except that we get going pretty fast and we've got a lot of weight to stop and that's probably the biggest problem people get into is that they crash or they overshoot because of the weight and now our base is here real close we're coming up on it and see what happens is we're going to bypass it well it's just that easy i mean that's that's the problem you bypass it, it has to turn around and try to come back. And if you don't have, if you've got anything in the, in the way, it's going to crash. So I'm going to turn this off so we can watch it dock. And you see it docks just perfectly here, just like it's supposed to. Now, how do we get past that? Or how do we get around that? Well, there's a couple of different ways. Part of that you can do through software. Part of that you can do through building your ship better. And one of the things you really need to do is put a lot of stopping power. And it's just, when you get going 95 meters per second, it's just like, you need good brakes in your car. You know, you can't just put them wimpy brakes. You gotta, you gotta have some pretty hefty brakes. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit, and let me turn that off again. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more stopping power. And I want to kind of make it look nice and kind of, you know, I mean, this is not the best ship anyway, but I want to kind of make it as nice as I can. So I'm going to put one on each of the outside edges. I think it's what I want to do here. And that is a, I'll have to turn this back on to see what these are. I believe that's a uh, five, no, I think it's a six, and a six number. Uh, six five? No, that's six five's heart hydrogen. No, I need a, a two two. There it is. Ion. I want the small one, and I want to put it right here. Okay, 
so that's going to double up there. I want to put it back here. one more on each side again I like to make them symmetrical as I can okay so that's some more stopping power and now we want to go back into the cockpit and put those into the uh, ion thrusters. See, these aren't going to be called SAM tests. They're just going to be called ion thrusters because we just added them. So we're going to find them way up here. And that's the thing about when you when you add stuff, you got to fix that again. You know, you got to get the name on them properly. All right, so that gives me some extra thrust. And I'm going to then uh, come here, go to number four again. Get up and away for a little bit. Turn those dampeners on. And we know we can get up to a pretty high speed there, so that's good. We'll come back in, we'll come to number two. We want to make sure that we've got that set as a destination. We do, we hit number eight, Sam takes over. See, when Sam's flying, you don't crash. I don't crash. <laughs> flying, I crash. So I much prefer to have Sam there. And so now this time we're going to have a whole lot more stopping power. There we go. Got a lot more stopping power. And that's probably going to be much better. Yeah, and see it just kind of glides to a stop right over the connector where it's supposed to be. So that fixed it in, in our case. I'm going to show you real quick another way that you can fix it. And uh, that's through having a... And I'm, I'm going to have to jump over here to another screen real quick and grab this, uh, this setup that I've got. Um, Right, um, here we go, and sorry, took took a moment there, um, and then you come into the SAM, the programmable block on your ship here, and you come into custom data, and oh, I already got it in here, but that's this is one way to do it, is to change your approach distance, and uh, I've got the taxiing speed real slow here. Um, and you can see that that works very well. Now you can set that to probably a little bit more than that. 15 is probably good. But you can also change your uh, overall speed. And this just look in the instructions and you'll see how to set that up. Uh, this is what I typically do here. And then uh, the, the overall the, the maximum speed is oftentimes I'll set that at like 35 and that keeps the ship really slow but it makes sure you don't crash and you adjust those just a little bit and you can do pretty well with this 
So I'm going to come back over here and uh, I want to undock. I don't want it to be charging my batteries. Uh, I'm at 87%. And that's going to be all for this video. If you've liked this, let me know. Hit the like button, please. If you uh, didn't, leave a comment. Or if you like it, leave a comment. Hey, either one. I always love comments. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and that way you'll get uh, uh, notifications when we have the next videos. But this is uh, this is how to set up SAM here, and I think you've gotten a pretty good idea of how easy it is to, to do that and how to balance a ship to make sure that it does stop where it's supposed to. So, uh, again, leave me comments, like, and all that. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be, be looking for those next SAM ones because I'm going to have several ones for various tests to make sure all those different things work and showing people how to do that. So see you then. Thanks. Bye.